Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel VAP Access with Aniko. I am in Uganda Kampala and today I'm meeting a dope singer. She's called Lamu. I discovered her through the Empower Music platform. I'm gonna meet her at the studio. I hope she's cool because her music is so damn cool. Come with me. Welcome Lamu. Thank you for having me. How are you? I'm doing amazing yeah. actually. For those who are watching and maybe you don't know of Lamu yet, I will personally attest to the fact that I got to know Lamu through Empower uh, Music Platform by Mr. Easy. Remember, it was launched last year and 100 artists got to the platform and got a chance to um, get a funding to shoot a music video. That's when I saw your music video and I was like, who's that chick? First, I was, I was like, she looks Kenyan. <laughs> I actually, I actually, my sister, I think it was yesterday, she sent me a picture of a Ugandan newspaper, red paper, and there's a picture of me on stage saying, Kenyan songstress doing her thing, but I'm Ugandan. I don't know why people keep assuming I'm either Tanzanian or Kenyan, but I'm actually Ugandan. Like that. Maybe it's just the looks, you look Kenyan. You look, actually you look like you would be coming from the coast area. I think maybe because of my origin, my grandparents, mm -hmm. maybe that's genetics. Okay. Where do they come from? Um, Tanzania, mm -hmm. uh, from my dad's side, Tanzania, from my mom's side, Comoros Islands, okay. yeah, which is also East Africa, East of Africa. All right. yeah. And then that's, that's why, and then you all settled in Uganda at some point. I was born and raised in Uganda. I was born in Soroti, which is Eastern Uganda, as you're going towards Kenya. Mm -hmm. I was born in Soroti. I uh, studied there for a few years, kindergarten, and then moved to Kampala. And then my dad moved to Tanzania, moved back, and I stayed because this is my country. Okay. Yeah. So tell me about this whole discovery, you know, um, that you have received from um, the Empower platform. Yeah. And um, the audio of your song and video came out through Empower. Something about you. So tell me about, um, you know, that. Well, before, before, before Empower came through, before I got the opportunity, I had just started doing music. That was last year, 2018. So mm -hmm. end of 2017, I discovered this intense feeling like that I really want, really wanted or really want to do music. Mm -hmm. So 2018, I recorded a couple of songs, didn't really put out much, just a few audios on SoundCloud. And um, by the mid-August, around the time Empower was doing the run, looking for the artist, I feel like that was the, the perfect timing for me. It was the perfect timing for me. It's when I discovered this is what I really want to do, but where do I go? Or how do I start? So Empower comes in, a friend of mine from high school tags me on Mr. Easy's post, and um, I'm like, okay, you know what? It really won't kill anyone if I sing and post, and you never know. And a month later, I get a notification, Empower's posted a video and tagged you, and the rest is history. Empower um, sponsored my video. I got to shoot the video with Sasha Vibes, who is a very big deal around in Uganda and Africa. He shot so many people's videos. So we did that. Um, the song was mastered and mixed. My producer is called Ray Mark. We wrote the song together also. So we do a lot of work together. So yeah, and then on top of that, Empower really pushed it. Empower, pu and Empower distributed the song to Apple Music, iTunes, which is something very hard for an independent artist to do on their own. So Empower honestly came at the, the right time when I needed that extra push. Um, they pushed something about you on, on, on playlists. People are texting me. Your song is on, you know, top 10 today on Apple. I'm like, what? No way. No, no way. No way. And the views on YouTube and, um, and the DJs, because also something else um, about Ugandan music. I'm not doing your typical, typical sound. Ugandan sound. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to do some kind of afro fusion like urban mm. but still very musical i mind the melodies i mind the beat i mind the the lyrics the flow and all that like I, that really matters to me because music is very 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 spiritual mm -hmm. to me people actually embraced something about you mm -hmm. They really did. It's I did not expect that. DJs were playing this song in, in, in bars, you know, 
they were playing it on TV, they were playing it on radio, so it was really a very amazing experience for me personally. Okay, so the interview was, um, it was a bit too cold where we were, the studio with the ACs, we decided to come out a bit. We just <laughs> like the sun, we just, apparently, highlighter, you know, in a, in a, in a what, you know. in a nini? In a, in, a shine. Shine. in a shine, in a shine, in a shine. So Lamu, we were talking about what's next after Empower. Empower has, Empower is launching a label. I'm not saying necessarily I'm going to sign under Empower, but that is a possibility. That is something that would, you know, come out next. Uh, for now, I have a lot of music I've been recording with my producer, Ray Mark, who is so amazing. I got a writer, he's called Richie, we call him Melanin Boy, so he's helping me also fuse in the, the Luganda, and then I bring in the Swahili, and then nice. Ray brings in the... So there's, there's a lot in store. We were thinking, um, we're going to drop a couple of singles, and then an EP. We have, all I know is we have enough, enough music, and obviously my next video has to be better than something about you. So there's, there's a lot in store. Thank you so much, Lamo, for the interview. I totally enjoyed it. It's really great to meet you. And anytime you're coming to Kenya, Nairobi, hit me up. I'd be so happy to come through for you. Anything you want to tell your fans watching? Well, I just want to say thank you guys so much for the support. The support has been real. I've been doing music for a very short time, but you guys have come through. The family is growing. So... I have so much in store for you guys. I have so much music, so many things we still have to do. So see you guys at the top. I love you. Okay, guys. So when it comes to Ugandan artists to watch, Lamo is top of my list. So make sure you check out her YouTube. That's a wrap for VIP Access here in Kampala. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.